Hello there from beautiful Camarillo, California at A Healing Place, The Estates, our triple diagnosis treatment program. Today, my clinical director, Dale Ryder, and I want to talk to you about the epidemic of opiate addiction. It's gone up significantly. There's a lot. There's over a thousand people being treated in this country each day for prescription opiate addiction. Uh, the prescription opiate addiction rate has gone up over a thousand percent in the last four years. We want to make a difference. And with addiction, there comes a whole set of problems, biological, psychological, spiritual, and social. The family component often gets missed. That is Dale's area of expertise. And we want to talk for a little bit today, Dale, about how you bring your skill sets into our triple diagnosis program. So what do you say? Well, with addictive uh, disorders and and the impact on the family and how the family begins to just really dance in a really dysfunctional way. The I know we don't like the, we don't like that word dysfunction, but it it ends up being dysfunctional. And really looking at how the family then can kind of move in to help uh, these beautiful people that are suffering from opiate uh, addiction. And, um, and we're, we've lost a lot of people in the last two years. I just can't even tell you how many people. Well, I can tell you because <laughs> a Center for Disease Control in December came out with a report and anywhere from 72 to 91 people a day are dying from opiate overdoses. And the majority of those are prescription opiates. So yeah, we and can how, give some numbers. And how that you know impacts the family, the family that's left behind after that loved one leaves, the devastation of that. So it's not just that person in treatment, it's, it's all of us and, and any family that we talk to, uh, they, they get impacted. Um, even if you, know, you think, oh, well, that's not in my family, that's not something I have to worry about. But if you talk to any of your friends, there is, they're, they're being impacted by this epidemic. And then when people are also experiencing chronic pain or one of the other coexisting psychological mental health issues, it gets even worse. Uh, last night, Dale and I did a family session, a multifamily session. We had husband, wife, and 19-year-old daughter come in. And it was really interesting that it's very similar dynamics. Her, her issue isn't addiction. It could be if she's not careful, but it's chronic pain. And did you notice any similarities in this family system from the addiction family systems you usually work with? All the same. I mean, so many similarities. And then, you know, in, in this particular family, just those pieces of anxieties and expectations. And we, su we have such unhealthy expectations. And catastrophic expectations. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's going to be horrible, awful, right. terrible. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And what will it, you know, if I do step into treatment, this is for everyone out there, you know, how is that going to change my life? Well, it's going to change it for the better. It's just getting over that hump to get yourselves in there and to get your families in there to really look at this, at this problem. I don't know about you, Dale, but historically for me, when I bring somebody in for addiction treatment, I want to always involve the family. And one of the most common Absolutely. reactions are for me is, Wait a minute, they are the problem. You need to just fix them and everything will be fine. And they just don't get it, how they've been impacted. Sometimes family members have more serious mental health and physical health issues than the addicted person does. Absolutely, and you know, it's, it's tough for any of us to really look at ourselves, but to me, if there's any gift in addiction, it is that. It brings the family and it brings that person to their knees in front of each other to really uh, clean and clear up what's happening in the family that needs clearing up anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and you're going to get an opportunity. There'll be some links provided with this video to take you to our website, different pages on our website perhaps, because we want to share with you that we offer a solution for this devastating problem and we're starting up a new cohort this month and we really want to get people bought in now. So if you or someone you love is having problems with medication abuse, dependency or addiction, or you know someone who does, send them our way because we want to make a difference. We want to help. We want to help people get out of that. And you know, when they have chronic pain and say depression, anxiety, sleep problems, that is our forte. We are really, that's what we're all about. 
and we deal with people biologically, psychologically, socially, and spiritually. We work with people, not on people. Absolutely. And then just that last piece you said, the spiritual part, you know, bringing that always back in and around. And once again, we don't define what that looks like, but really bringing people back home, which is a spiritual walk. Right. We consider ourselves coaches and guides, and we give them a structured format how to find their own answers, because it has to be their answers. It can't be ours. So, you know, join us at A Healing Place. Our website is www.ahealingplacetheestates.com. And remember, these links are going to be down anywhere you see this video. You'll have some links to go to because we want to help you. Call us now. Our call center is open and we want your call. If you just have questions or curious, call us. You know, 844-388-4100. And we'll be more than happy to help answer any questions you might have. And if we don't have your answers, we'll have to guide you to people who do. And we're committed to making a difference in this opiate and chronic pain epidemic that we're experiencing in this country. Any closing words? No, just call. Um, you know, I've, I've been in a family where that gets put away and put under, and it's, it's time to stop that, those devastating patterns and just bring it, to the, bring it out in the open, bring it to the light. So we're here to help you, so please do call. And stop the suffering now. You know, there's an old saying, Pain's inevitable and suffering's optional. If you're willing to come see us and get some support and help, we can guarantee if you do the footwork, you don't have to suffer anymore. So thank you for joining us today. This is good. You'll be seeing more of Dale and I individually and as a team. And on our website, we have a new section called Breaking News. I invite you to check that out. You can get to that link on any of the pages on our website. So onward and upward, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye.